All cells have these internal components, which are called organelles. And organelles are defined as specialized compartments of a cell which has a specific function or role. Mitochondria are examples of a type of organelle which are responsible for generating chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. The chemical energy is obtained from organic molecules which come from the food that we eat through the process of cellular respiration. The chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Since some cells require more energy than others, based on the specialization of tissue they belong to, the form and number of mitochondria can differ from one cell to another. So for example, more mitochondria is found in muscle cells since they need a constant supply of ATP for muscle contraction. Scientists think that mitochondria evolved from bacteria and used to be a separate single-celled organism. The reason for this theory is that mitochondria contain their own genetic information in the form of DNA. Eventually, mitochondria were incorporated into the cell of another organism, and from then on, mitochondria have lived on inside their host cells, manufacturing energy for other organisms. The structural components of mitochondria have a significant role in the process of cellular respiration. Inside of the mitochondria, there are two membranes, the inner and outer membrane, with an intermembrane space between them. The outer membrane covers the entirety of the organelle, while the inner membrane folds over many times and creates this layered structure called cristae. These folds provide an increase in surface area, consequently allowing more space for processes to take place. The space within the inner membrane is known as the matrix, containing enzymes, DNA, RNA, ribosomes, and calcium granules. Organic molecules such as pyruvate and acetyl-CoA are created from breaking down the foods that we eat. They enter the mitochondrial matrix, which contains enzymes that can further chemically digest these molecules in biochemical processes such as the Krebs and fatty acid cycles. As for ATP, it's generated at the inner membrane of mitochondria by an efficient mechanism called oxidative phosphorylation, involving several membrane protein complexes. Nutrients provide high energy electrons in the form of NADH, which are used by the protein complexes to pump protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. This continuous pumping creates a proton gradient where the positively charged protons are attracted to the more negative matrix. This results in protons to re-enter the matrix through the ATP synthase protein complex, which catalyzes the production of ATP. From the food we consume, digest, and break down to obtain organic molecules, to be utilized in every single one of our cells, and uptaken by the mitochondria. It is capable of generating ATP, which captures chemical energy to fuel all other cellular processes. The mitochondria is truly the powerhouse of the cell.